Hello, my name is Benjamin Kidd, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Florida in the lab of Dr. Marie Swanson. I am also a 2021 MDF Fellow, and I'm very excited to talk to you today about my mitotic dystrophy research. So the problem that I'm really interested in addressing in the DM field is trying to understand more of why people that have mitotic dystrophy have early age brain atrophy. So brain atrophy is essentially shrinking of the brain. So this is something that normally happens um, as you age. However, in people with DM, they suffer from this in their 20s and 30s as opposed to in their 80s or 90s. So the goal of my research is to better understand how this is going on so that it can influence and help therapeutics down the line. Um, so how I'm doing this is uh, we have multiple mouse models in the lab that we've made and I'm utilizing these mouse models to try to understand what's going on with the different cells in the brain. Um, so to start, we're looking at MRIs of these animals to see do they have similar brain atrophy that we see in patients and trying to understand how um, that's going on in our mouse models. So one specific pathway and story I'm very interested in looking at is how the choroid plexus may be involved. So recently we um, investigated a DM1 mouse model that showed that the choroid plexus, which is a specific tissue inside the brain, is more susceptible to toxic RNA um, in, in this mouse model. And so what I'm following up on this is trying to understand how that can impact the rest of the brain. So the choroid plexus is a really cool and interesting tissue. So it is inside your brain and it's important and its main function is creating cerebral spinal fluid. Uh, so this is fluid that goes throughout your brain and into your spinal cord and it's essentially important for everything. It's important for getting nutrients to your brain. It's important for removing waste that your brain has made. Um, it's important for um, essentially the overall health of your of your brain. So we're trying to understand more of how this may be impaired in our mouse models. Um, but specifically with this, how the choroid plexus could be influencing neural stem cells. Uh, so neural stem cells are present throughout your entire life. However, as you age, you have fewer and fewer neural stem cells. So you lose them as you age typically. And so we know the choroid plexus is important for regulating these cells throughout life. And so we're trying to understand, does, it, does dysregulation of the choroid plexus in our mouse model influence the neural stem cells in our mice? And that may be contributing to the atrophy we see. So that's where my research is focused and what I'm really excited about investigating further. Um, so one of the main goals is from this is to understand how how this is going on so that it can better influence therapeutics down the line. So we know potentially what um, specific cells or tissues to target with therapy or just the timing of whether this needs to be earlier on in life than we may anticipate. And so that's the end goal and how we're hoping that this research can influence and direct patient care in the future. One thing that I've really enjoyed about being a part of the DM research community is I feel like it's very, it's a community. It's um, a bunch of researchers who are coming together and all tackling the same problem and all working together from different angles to try to work on curing this disease and curing myotonic dystrophy. And so I feel like that's very, it was very unique um, for me is just, I feel like everyone's on board. Um, everyone's on the same ship and they're all uh, aiming for the same goal. So that's been something very um, exciting to be a part of. Um, I also would very much like to thank MDF uh, for funding me. It has been a huge help not only for funding my research, but also for the different career development seminars they've done. And they've really come alongside me in helping try to help me as a scientists grow, um, specifically as a DM scientist. So I'd just like to thank them and also for um, this great conference. I'm so excited about this conference and cannot wait to meet you and 
uh, interact with you more and learn more about DM and kind of where we're going with the field. Thank you.